next okay. trade. Gold keeps on glittering as the dollar doesn't do well. Okay, but that isn't necessarily a horrible thing. At least it's stabilizing. But can this trade keep going? There's always a man that knows about gold, precious metals, and his name is Peter Schiff. Peter, welcome to Fast Money. I see you again, Rick. It's great to see you. You know, we got to spend some time together about a month ago. Let's talk. Is there room for the glittering commodity, the sterile commodity with negative carry to keep on running here? Look, absolutely. God, you didn't miss the boat. Climb on board. <laughs> it's going a lot higher. Don't worry about people stampeding out of gold for the exits. It's going to be the opposite. They're going to be stampeding out of paper, particularly out of the U.S. dollar, to buy gold. It's going to go straight up. Buy it Pete, before that so happens. Peter, what do you own then? Pete, let me, let me ask this question real quick. And, and I happen to agree with most everything you said, and you had it spot on last year. You're long gold. What scenario, though, as a being long gold, do you worry about? Or is there nothing out there that potentially worries you with that trade? Well, I worry about a lot of things. That's why I own gold. But I'm not worried about my gold. You know, you talked about the potential for a flight to safety rally in the dollar. I don't think people are going to make that mistake again. That happened in 2008. I don't You'd expect it to happen how again. how many mistakes people make over and over and over again. Yeah, well, I don't think they're going to make this one. I think if there's another flight to safety, it'll be to gold, because that's where the safety is. There is no safety in the U.S. dollar. That is the problem. It's because the dollar is so weak, and other currencies, too, for that matter. We're just the biggest offenders in inflationary monetary policy. But that's why gold is strong, and that's why commodities are strong, and that's why stocks are strong, because people want out-of-government paper, because they are printing way too much of it to try to artificially stimulate the economy, artificially prop up financial institutions that so it could be should be failing artificially prop up housing prices that are still too high and as long as they're pursuing this currencies are going to lose value and gold's going higher peter are you long any u.s stocks right now your view on the u.s market we think yeah, we know I, is i am long a small number of u.s stocks i own you know i own you know chevron i own exxon mobile i own conoco phillips i own newmont mining you know i own i own uh, some uh, uh, agriculture names okay, in well, the u.s but I, most of my money is abroad i mean most of the value is outside the united states i guess i'm where i'm getting to this is gold is certainly a defense of a policy failure not just u.s but anywhere in the world so where you know where are you investing that you believe they are immune to policy failure i mean you talk as if well, this is a one-way trade no no I'm nobody is abroad, immune uh, it, Absolutely, and agree with the premise. So I want to I want to hear from you where you're most worried about yeah. in these markets that you say are. First of all, these are much more immature markets. Uh, yeah. These are people that well, are probably have greater uh, you know propensity to, to unravel in their policy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, nobody is immune, right? It's kind of like investment triage. You have to invest in the countries that have the fewest problems. And, you know, and I have countries? a lot of gold because everybody has problems. But most, I have a lot of money in Asia. I have a lot of money in China through Hong Kong, through mainland China, through Singapore. I have money in Southeast Asia. I have money in the resource countries of Australia, Canada, uh, Norway. I've got money in Switzerland. I've got money in other European countries. Uh, you know, I'm spreading my money around the world. I'm trying to concentrate more on, on resources, on raw materials, on energy, on mining, but I also have basic industrial companies and I own a lot of REITs and a lot of utilities around the world. But I understand that the big shift is gonna be wealth away from the United States, out of the dollar, America, our living standards are gonna fall, the living standards in other countries are going to rise. And I wanna be on the receiving end of that wealth transfer. I wanna own for myself and for my clients assets and currencies that are gonna be rising in value relative to the United States. All right, hey, Peter, you know there's a, a challenge here. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. I have Peter Schiff saying the sky's the limit. Let's yeah. get that song Stairway to Gold Heaven. I have Guy here <laughs> who is very nervous. There's going to be a 300 point Waller trap worry, baby. door where you go through the bottom. <laughs> Is Climbing there any way Peter's convincing you? No, no, look, Peter, he's been right, so he can continue he to be has, right. But what, but what worries me is nobody that's bullish in gold has a scenario where it can go down. There has to be exist a scenario where gold can go look, lower. It Nobody's can go down in the short that. run. It, look, anything, look, can it drop $100 or $200? Sure, but I'm not worried about that. I'm looking at the long term, and unfortunately, the long term is bright because the, the picture is bleak for the U.S. based on what the Federal Reserve and the government are doing to destroy our economy. Well, Peter, we have to go, and I agree with a lot of what you said, but we are at 75 in the dollar index. We're not at 65. It's just the outlook isn't good, but it hasn't fallen through well, the floor. Believe me. But it's a pleasure to have you. I'm sure we're going to see more. I was going to say. We'll be at 65, and we'll be lower before too long. <laughs> All right, we're going to bring you back when it gets there, and I hope we don't not see you, you for two bring or me three back years. Before it gets there. there you go. Here's what's coming up two, next on Fast, Fast Money. <laughs>